Hello, my name is Rob Jan. I'm a partner solution advocate here at Dynatrace, and I'm excited to share how we can automate service delivery through the integrations of Dynatrace and Atlassian. But let's start with the context for this. We're trying to do this in a culture of DevOps, which many companies today are taking as an approach to improve their bottom line and to deliver software faster with higher quality. Now, although it sounds easy, this is really a challenge for most companies. And why is that? Because teams are working in siloed teams, they have different data, they have different workflows, and as a result, it's very difficult to prioritize the work, manage and understand service levels, get to the root cause of problems. But the good news is Dynatrace is working with companies just like yours to solve these problems. And we're doing that through some unique capabilities that Dynatrace brings as an advanced observability platform. Namely, we are doing automatic discovery of your topology. We understand the dependencies when we can map this to the end user impact. And all this information can be fed into JIRA so that your service desk agents have the context to know what the issues are. And by knowing the root cause, the mean time to resolution is vastly improved because we know exactly what to fix or roll back or remediate. And then as we're delivering software, we're shifting left earlier in their life cycle to deliver context to the development teams, give them earlier feedback so that we don't even introduce problems to begin with. So why don't we start with a couple of demos so you can see what I'm talking about. So for our demo, I'm gonna begin with the sample application that's being monitored by Dynatrace. We're gonna push a version of code that's gonna cause a problem and walk through the incident management workflow. So just to call out to how Dynatrace is seeing this application, we're now in the Dynatrace release monitoring screen. So we know each component, which is made up of four services in this case, the version that they're running and in what environment they're running. If we look at how Dynatrace sees the entire topology of the application, we just look to the Dynatrace Smartscape, where the one agent was installed on the host and all the various processes and applications and databases that make up this application were automatically discovered and viewable. So what I've done here is I've set up a pipeline in Bitbucket that goes through a series of tasks from building and testing, security scanning, and then deploying my, my, my application version. And then what we're wanting to tell Dynatrace is that this deployment took place, as well as after performance tests to tell Dynatrace that a testing event took place. So how do we do that? So if I go over to the Bitbucket marketplace, we can see that we've made an official pipe. If we scroll down and search for Dynatrace and we pop this up, we can see it's very easy to integrate in with the Dynatrace environment through something called an information event. So Dynatrace has a number of different events that we can push in and I'll show you what these look like. And just through a small code snippet of configuring the URL, the Dynatrace API token, what type of event you really want to do, you can see that run in your pipeline. So what I just did is ran the pipeline against the customer service to push a new version of code. So now back in Dynatrace, we can look at this customer service and see what information just got passed by our pipeline. You can see that I now have a couple of deployments that took place in my environment. So where you can see we pushed version two, and now we have all the context of the Bitbucket pipeline job that actually did the change. And if we have a performance test, like a 10 minute test, we can also see as well what the nature of that was and all this provided data gives us immediate context to what's happening. And now we're ready to look at the problem that was raised as a result of this release. So now here I am on the Dynatrace problem card. And this is something important to understand around Dynatrace. Dynatrace just doesn't see a particular event. It takes into account anomalies, metrics, logs, situations that are happening in the environment and opens up a problem window and stitches together what's happening because it knows the interdependencies to the end users. So we can see who's impacted at an end user level. It also understands the services that are impacted. In this case is the front end services impacted and it's automatically determined the root cause, which is something happening with our customer service. And we can see now the power of these deployments. So we can see that associated in the time frame of the problem, some deployments were taking place. So now we're ready to look at the JIRA ticket that got raised as a result of this problem. One of the things that we've I've set up here is that it's automatically opened up a JIRA issue and added that hyperlink back to Dynatrace. So if I click on this, now we're opening up our JIRA issue that has the ticket automatically filled in with all the details about this particular problem. Also a hyperlink back to Dynatrace. We've able to use, and I'll show you this, the automation within JIRA to be able to pull out information from the Dynatrace tags that are in our description to automatically assign it to components, which is going to help us with our various filtering and things like that. So where this is being done is in our automation. So here you can see I've got a series of rules set up. One is sending a comment to Dynatrace on issue creation. Let's open up this rule. So you can see I'm driving this from an automation trigger when an issue is created. And then what I'm doing here is calling an API in Dynatrace 
that says, hey, call the Dynatrace problem API with my authorization token with the message that I've opened up a ticket and all these are the smart tags within Jira Automation that can be used as part of the logic here. So if we go back to Dynatrace to our release monitoring page, I want to show a new feature of Dynatrace that shows how we can see these tickets that have now been opened against our components right from within Dynatrace. If we zoom in a bit on this same page, we can take a look at the real-time release information queries. Let's look at how these are configured. Each query is given a name and has a JQL statement that defines what data to pull back, and we can set an icon as well as what project to associate this with. So now back on the releases page, we can see these queries and the real-time counts that are being pulled back from Jira. And by simply clicking on one of the links, I'm now brought over to Jira. Now I can see the full list with that jQuery automatically populated, making it easy to, for me to understand the various open items. That was just a taste of what's possible with Atlassian and Dynatrace. So hopefully you've seen how we can enable teams to collaborate better, deliver software faster, and automate operations. If you'd like to learn more, head over to Dynatrace.com, learn more about the integration, as well as sign up for a Dynatrace 15-day free trial where you can try all this yourself.